If you want to do the initial setup on Samsung Galaxy A17, then here's what you need to do. So once you turn on your device, we want to go ahead and press this start button to proceed, and then we can choose our language. So let's quickly switch to English United States and let's go next. There we go. Now we need to agree to the end user license agreement and then proceed by pressing next. Then we can set up your Galaxy A17 by using another device. So if you want to transfer everything quickly, then you can do so by using these options. If you prefer to use a clean setup, then we can press setup manually. And this is what we're going to focus on. Now we can use a Wi-Fi uh, network and connect to the Wi-Fi network in order to have the access to the internet. Uh, you can also just turn off Wi-Fi, skip this step, or you can also use the QR code scanner. If you find your network, then you can tap over, over the network and can select it in order to enter the password in order to connect. There we go. Then we should be... Uh, transitioned into the next uh, screen. In case uh, nothing changed after connecting to the network, you should be able to press next in the bottom right corner. Another thing that we should see is the option to copy apps and data. So quite another way to, uh, to transfer data from old smartphone, or you can use a backup. So if you have a backup of some data, then you can go ahead and go next. And this will use the Google uh, backups. So uh, backups that you used on, that you made with the Google account. Um, but uh, in my case, I want to still perform a clean setup. So I'm just gonna choose don't copy. And afterwards we will most likely see the Google uh, sign in page. There we go. So you can use your credentials in order to sign into your Google account. And you can also create a new account in case you want to, or you can just skip that and you can sign in later, for example, in settings. In my case, I decided to sign in. So afterwards, we need to agree to Google Terms of Service and we need to proceed. Next, you can set up the screen lock password and use biometrics as well. You can set them up. If you want to, you can also do this later in settings. So you can just press skip for that and you can press skip anyway. Then we should see Google services where we can toggle location. I'm going to actually turn it off. It is recommended to disable scanning over here. Even if you use location, it is recommended to turn this option off. Then we have sent usage and diagnostic data, which we can also disable if you don't want it. And then we can press accept once you scroll all the way down. Now we can create backups using our Google account. You can backup photos and videos as well as other device data that is listed over here. You can also decide what you don't want to backup or you can just press down to backup over here. But once you select everything you want to backup, you can press turn on backup. So let's proceed. And then we can choose our default browser and search engines. We're going to go next. And in this case, uh, we have uh, various different browsers that we can use. If you don't know which one to use, you can uh, for example, choose Google Chrome. This is one of the most standard options that you can choose, but essentially whichever you choose, you will probably be okay with them. And later on, you can also download these browsers from the Play Store in case you want to switch the browser. So we can press set as default. Then we have search engine and the Google search engine is of course the most popular uh, choice. So I'm going to select this one as well. And we're going to press set as default. The list can be ordered in a quite a different way, but you should have the same options more or less. Then we have Gemini, so we can press continue and you can use the Hey Google voice recognition in order to activate Gemini with your voice. In my case, I don't really want to do that, so I'm just going to press no thanks. If you decide to do so, then you will have to say a couple of sentences out loud in order to set up the voice match. But it is really easy to, of course, follow. So after that, we should see uh, another thing on the screen which is the Samsung account sign-in page. So you can sign into your Samsung account by, for example, by using your Google account, which I think is the most convenient way to do so. And um, whether it is worth or not using a Samsung account, it's up to personal preference, I guess. In my case, I can actually sign in. In your case, if you want to, you can skip that by pressing forgot password or don't have an account. And then over here, we have set up later in settings. So you can skip that process completely. But in my case, like I said, I'm just going to use my Google account because uh, it allows me to access, for example, the Galaxy Store and some other stuff as well. So we're going to press Terms and Conditions over here. We need to select that we agree to them. And if you scroll all the way down, we can go ahead and press Agree. And there we go. We are signed in. In the meantime, you might also need to enter some sort of password or use a verification code that can be sent to your mail. Uh, so you will have to enter the code in order to proceed. Then we have auto blocker and customization service, which I'm going to actually use. I'm going to use both of these options, but you can feel free to uncheck them. 
Let's go ahead and press agree. Then we can choose the light mode or dark mode. I'm going to stick with a light. And let's uh, go ahead and uh, see what's next. You might see some recommended apps that can be downloaded using Wi-Fi. And we have, we, you can see apps that are, for example, provided by the service provider or career, but you can actually uncheck them. And there are also some other apps that are considered essential, but unfortunately we cannot do anything with them. As you can see, we cannot uncheck them or anything. So this is unfortunately a bloatware that will be installed for us, but uh, later on uh, we can uninstall it quite easily. And as you can see, we are all set up, so you can go ahead and press home. Later on, uh, once you are done, you should be able to uh, find a notification about finishing setting up the device, just like you can see over here. You might see two of these notifications, and so you can do so. You can follow them if you want to. Over here, we have uh, SIM options. So um, if you use, for example, two SIM cards, then you might have a, you might need to choose which uh, SIM card is the preferred one for calls, messaging, and mobile data. So in my case, I'm just gonna quickly set it up. I use both SIM cards, I'm gonna choose both of them. Over here, let's select the SIM number two. And then we have the SIM manager. So a summary, let's go ahead and press done. And there we go. We have our home screen with the app drawer. And now of course we need to patiently wait for all of these apps to be installed. Later on, once they are installed, if you want to get rid of something, you can press and hold your finger in order to disable or uninstall completely from your smartphone. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.